Hello everyone, welcome back once again to the Carnival Toy Review. I am, like always, your immortal toy master. Sorry about my voice. Willow. <coughs> Get that a little clear there. Um. <coughs> my sinuses are bothering me. Sorry guys. Today on this Carnival Toy Review, I will be bringing to you infamous Iron Man and Iron Man 2020. I do not have a regular Iron Man yet, but I am working on my haul of Iron Men. So, you got Infamous Iron Man, which is once one of the world's most villain, evil villains. Victor Von Doom has a chance to allegiance and assume a new identity as the tech-powered hero Iron Man. So, there he is. And then on this side you have Iron Man 2020. Arnon? Aaron? Arno? Arno Stark wields powerful weapons and a superior armor suit as Iron Man 2020. Oh, let's get into these figures really fast. This figure, he came with a cloak that comes off, um, which hinders all articulations and everything. The hood does not come off, which isn't that bad, but it does prevent you from doing a lot of stuff. Um, rather than that, he does everything a regular Marvel Legends does. Um, the cape just slides right off, and it's just a regular Iron Man suit, as you can see. Keeps the hood on. Looks kind of like Ultron a little bit. But I like the green aspect of it. It gives it a nice uh, feel. You know what I mean? And then he, you just take this, slide that back on, pull his head back up. But you can tell it's Von Doom from the get-go. It's just very obvious. And then he came with these accessories. He came with the Victor Von Doom head. See if we can rotate that around. Um, he came with two hands with blasters, and then he came with the pinkish um, electricity shit stuff. Plastic, whatever. You know, that Harbro, Hasbro lightning stuff from the Power Ranger Lightning Collection that Marvel's always had. <laughs> and for this one, the Walgreens exclusive. Iron Man 2020, because, you know, this is the year 2020. He's pretty nice. He came, he does come with two extra closed fist hands. And then he came with two hands that are open, so you can either have them shooting or, as you can see, flying. These all come apart. These are a four separate pieces right here. These are like these, but bigger, bigger flames. And then these just look like they're hitting the, the flames, hitting the ground and going... As you can tell, and then he blasts up. And then, as for this Iron Man, you get the same articulations, but these hinder a little bit. You can only go up so far instead of like all the way up. When you put the put his arms up, you know that. Yeah, so that's all you can really do. But you could take it off if you wanted to. See, so, but I'm not really worried about it. It's just a regular Iron Man suit under there with a different head sculpt. Um. And a belt, so that's about it. He's got the weird weaponry on him, and then the gears. So, if you wanted to just swap the helmet out for a regular Iron Man helmet, you would have just a regular Iron Man. All right, well. That was it for my carnival toy review for the day. If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below on which one of these two Iron Mans you think were better, if you've ever heard of any of them. Or if you like just OG Batman, um, Iron Man. Tony Stark. Let's just stand him up right here. He never stands on there. They always fall down. And always remember to wash your hands and to hen. Shin-tuk!